It's my pleasure to welcome you back to East Rampo Central School District Roundup Series. This is a very special time to reflect on women's accomplishments throughout history because this is Women's History Month. We all know that women past and present have played a vital, if not the most vital, role in this nation since the beginning. Women have made lasting societal contributions. So it's particularly important that we don't lose sight of that during Women's History Month. Now for an update on the district's academic, operations, and social-emotional learning initiatives. Since September, our youngest students have continued honing reading skills by learning the alphabet, letter sounds, and sight words. Helping students master this essential skill is embedded in the core of East Rampo's strategic academic plan. T H E. Our approach to teaching reading is really based on the Orton-Gillingham approach, which is based on the five pillars, which is fluency, phonics, phonemic awareness, vocabulary, and reading comprehension. And when a vowel sounds like an it, or, or, uh. or a, uh, very good. It helps individualize for each student that is struggling to become a proficient reader. How many syllables does this word have? I-H-A. I-H-A. A-N-G-N. The more we can reach out, it helps to close the gaps of learning for the students. We, the district, continue to focus significantly on the needs of our students. The specially trained staff members present in every building help the children manage their emotions, guide them in problem solving, and encourage them in relationship building, all so they may live happier and emotionally healthier lives. We're gonna talk about the upcoming annual reviews. Whether it's a school psychologist or a social worker or a family resource coordinator, all three work collaboratively to provide different levels of support. Our school social workers work very closely with our students and our families. Our family resource coordinators, they have the opportunity to support our families by connecting them with agencies in our community. Our school psychologists similarly focus on the needs of students in our buildings. They work on any social emotional needs that would affect the child in a school setting. We have school psychologists in every one of our public school buildings. Some of our buildings are larger buildings. We have multiple school psychologists. They support the overall social emotional health of our students and help them access the curriculum. Um, without the interference of the social emotional stuff that's going on in their life. They all have at least a master's degree in school psychology. Some of them even have a doctorate in school psychology and they are a great first line of defense for parents to go to if they have questions about special education needs that their students may have. Hey! Lastly, on the operations front, the district is deploying supplemental educational funding obtained through federal and state grant opportunities to enhance the broad array of educational opportunities. In the Office of Funded Programs, we provide the district with many grants. Title IV offers us many opportunities for enrichment and academic support. We fund things such as musical instruments, athletic and fitness resources, and eSports is a program that we are piloting this year at Ramapo High School. Not to be confused with video games, it's a team sport in the digital world. Title IV provides funding for eSports in the form of uh, purchasing monitors, Nintendo Switches, gamer chairs, and much more. eSports allows schools to compete with one another, it provides an arena for teaching important lessons and life skills that are outside of the classroom. Some people don't know to play sports, so they play video games instead. We can show off our talents here. I'm proud that my school will actually made it to have an esports team, and I'm hoping that other schools have the same opportunity as well. Spring is just around the corner. We look forward to all the fun that lies ahead. Thank you for all your support during Women's History Month and every single day. Until next time.